uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom. Hello humans, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today is another top tips video with a UC giveaway. Uh, all you have to do is enter your player ID and username as well as the number of the tip that you found most useful. Congratulations for Mucky A or El Coolbro who won the UC yesterday. I think it's 10 US dollars worth, which is about 700 UC. Um, and these are two games that I played yesterday, two solo wins that I thought I'd get together and use for the tips. Uh, hope you enjoy them. Nice desync there on that bloke. First tip is about peeking out from third party peeking just set your gun up so that you can see there i set the gun up so it's about eye level and if that means when you strafe out and you see this dude you hit him in the head like it's that simple your first strafe is going to be across his eye line which is his head second tip there's a bot up there bot starts shooting at a guy that's camping me and i stop because the i realize that's the bot and he's shooting to my left so i immediately strafe out look at the left lo and behold there's the bloke that was strafing in. Mini 14 does the rest. Use bots. Uh, use smoke from crates. All that kind of thing. And it will tell you where players are. That's really, really important. If you hear sound or you see a car, then believe in yourself. You heard sound. It didn't vanish. Throw out some bot calls and see if anyone answers. Voila. There's someone right next to you who was absolutely being a cheeky grub. If there's a car there, start spraying the, the grass, getting ready to drop because you know... There is someone in this spot. You can see I am absolutely ready to drop. There's a guy camping the grass. One of the reasons I'm ready to drop and staying just below that ridge line is the guy camping the grass can't shoot down without ADSing. And he can't ADS because he's a hip firing snake. Just wait, wait, wait. Let him finish the clip. Come up, get the win. Excellent. Tip number four. When rotating, the guy behind you is always more important than the guy in front of you. That's because if you don't get rid of the guy behind you, you can be pincered between two. So you leave that guy alone that is gatekeeping and you clear the guy that is coming in behind you. This is 100% an absolute cruncher. If you don't do that, you will let that guy come up behind you. You end up getting engaged. You get third partied and you come second. Uh, let's talk about reading the map. This bike out there goes down. He goes down to a guy called Kanetki or something, uh, but I, I know that he's gone down somewhere out there. And now there are nine people left alive. The house that I'm in is perfect for climbing on the roof, but someone has killed that bloke from behind me without making noise. There's a guy in the field there. So I'm thinking there's no one hanging around out there once I kill that. So that's kind of a safe space. This is how you break down a map. Uh, and I'm watching the kill feed. Eight people left alive. I still haven't seen that guy's name come up in the kill feed. I'm not climbing up on the roof while there are people directly behind me. Um, and there's people crawling around in these wheat fields. But if you see where the zone is, the circle is hard pushing against exact... Oh, hello. Is that our guy? We kill him. What's his name? No, that looks like Mandarin. I... Well, yeah. That's definitely not him. Um, so he's still up there. Oh, hello. Someone's rotating in. Is that our bloke? That's probably our bloke. Uh, someone's just died. I've killed the other bloke in the kill feed. Everyone is present and accounted for. We're going to rotate up onto the roof now, and we should be pretty safe. This is how you read the map. But there's smoke behind me. And someone else has gone down. So we've got the guy that killed the bloke on the circle. We've got this guy right in front of me here who's thrown smoke. We've got me. I'm missing two people. I am pretty confident that one of them is going to be up there. There's a bloke down here somewhere. He's going to be crawling in the weeds. There he is. And once we clear him, we can get to the other side of this rooftop. Four left alive. And now we're covered. And all the people on the map are in front of us. This is a huge tip, but it's super important. Next tip. Um, you've got the numbers. You've counted them all up. Watch the kill feed. So, Kinetic with an M Mark 14 has killed a guy out there. We've seen a puff of green smoke go up so we know there's a dude straight ahead of us there's probably no one on the right because that guy rotated in from the right there's probably someone on the left you can look for the kill feed but you can also read where the smoke comes up anytime someone dies so the green smoke's come up on my right that means the guy on the left the last one firing is the last one left alive this set of tips is brought to you by welcome to a chicken dinner because once you get good at these tips reading the map like that you are going to be exceptionally good at closing out maps next one at the start of the map if you get a weapon at the very start of the drop after the lobby's been cleared and everyone's come out of the plane if you're lucky enough to get a weapon that's when you go hunting for quick frags 
Anytime you hear a sound, go and look at it. Don't worry about getting the vest and everything else because this is when third partying is super, super effective. There's going to be uh, two people having a little gunfight out there to my south. I'm going to get both the clears. Uh, you'll hear there's a shotgun. They're doing ring a ring a rosy out there. This is when you get all your kills. Real easy kills too. Uh, I jump off because I obviously think there's someone there. This is a bot. Not to worry. So we've got three kills. Four kills. We're going to get one more clear as there's a little gunfight goes on across the road. And... Okay. Hear that gunfight? Okay, get out to that. Get out to that ASAP. Because that's someone that's just cleared in a heavy gunfight. And they're probably taking uh, damage. You see the smoke there again. Tells me exactly where he is. He's probably looting that box. Get the clear. Five kills. And now you've got to be sensible. 64 people left. Everyone else that's left in Pachinki is camping their buttocks off. This is seven and a half minutes of footage condensed into 25 seconds. Here is a big, big tip. If you can't find them, and it's going to involve you going up staircases blind, just leave. Uh, and I do this all the time with people that are camping, holding angles. Like, people will hold an angle, like, till kingdom come. They will hold an angle until the blue zone comes and swallows them whole. If they're on a roof... They just fall in love with that crap. They don't know how to fight. They just hold angles. There are so many players with good KDR that are reasonable game, in-game fighters and that kind of thing. But what they really do is just hold angles and don't leave them and don't give them up. So they'll pick up four or five KDs a game just holding an angle on a zone line. Like, it's it's ridiculous. Okay, next tip. Um, you've left Pachinki. There's a crate. There's a couple of people here. One of the things about crates is you're never alone. Never, never, ever think that you're alone. There's actually two people here. Um, I kill that guy. He smoked to get away from another guy who was overlooking the crate, who we run away from, and then we just park up and we look at the crate again. We watch it. And this will happen all the time. When you leave the crate, someone will pop up and just start running off because they're like, I got away with that one. Um... Let's talk a little bit about uh, chasing people down. If you are, you're nearly always better off just stopping as the car's coming in. Just there is where that guy should have stopped, jumped out of the car fast and nailed me. Never do what this guy does. This guy gets out of the car and runs away. Jump out of the car, get behind the car, do anything you can, but you've got to take this engagement. If someone is pushing you this hard, you have to take the engagement. Let's talk a little bit about crates again. Um, if you want to camp a crate successfully, you've got to get there first and then don't loot it. Just go and get an overlook. You can always go in and get the gear later. If you don't loot it, there's nothing on the ground. No one can tell you've been there. They're not certain that the crate's camped. If you drive in, try and loot and leave, that's when you will generally get cleaned up by people rotating hard into the crate to get gear just like you are. It helps a lot if you've already got a little bit geared up and you're not stressing out about that. But that means that you, once you've kind of killed someone at the crate, there's a vehicle there. It's all over. Like, there's no way they're going to come and, and pick you up again. So, jump in your car, go and loot whatever's there, and sail off into the wild blue yonder. And when you're sailing off, make sure to check if there's anyone else overlooking the crate. And that's exactly what's happened here. There's someone else on the other side of the crate who went to camp it, but they camped it opposite me, so we couldn't see each other. Uh, and we're going to pick up an easy frag here because he's obviously been caught very flat-footed. This is a tough one. I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you're looking for kills. But if you are looking for kills, crates are a great way to pad the stats. We've walked in here and we've walked out with an extra two kills and an AWM. I mean, it's hard to argue with that as a, a good way of doing business. The next little tip is, look, it's pretty obvious, but this is something that you need to really pay attention to. You want to rotate into the zone late uh, on the edge of the circle. You want to surf in the blue and you want to get a position like this where you can watch everyone rotating into the zone. That way you can be certain when you turn up that you are the last person coming into the circle on that side of the zone. Now, this is called short-siding yourself on the circle. I've done entire videos on this, but it is the number one reason why you're able to come into a circle and it leads us to our next point, which is do the math. Once you know that there's no one behind you and you know that everyone has to be on the left or the right, you can do the math and figure out where the last player is. That guy is going to pop at the tree. He's going to have a gunfight with someone up there. I'm watching the kill feed. 
this guy has just killed someone. Ghost someone has killed someone, and I've just killed ghost someone. Ghost cat or something. So that's two people that have been cleared up there. There's a guy rotating in at the back of the map. We're going to clear him. That's three people. One guy's left. I'd already cleared a guy who was camping behind a car up there that no one had fired at. The odds that this person that I'm looking for right now is on my right-hand side are astronomically good. Like, it's got to be on the right-hand side, and he's got to be over near that tree somewhere. So we just get healthy, throw a whole buttload of smoke, and keep an eyeball out, and there he is. Big as the earth. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you like the tips. Remember to leave your player ID and username, and you could be the winner of the UC in this video. Look after yourself, subscribe to the channel, and as always, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.